friends, it's Miss Jill. I'm a children's librarian at the Erlinger branch. For those of you that don't know me or just now tuning in for some of our live videos. Um, if you are unfamiliar with what we've been doing, every Monday and Wednesday at 4 o'clock we're going live with some fun how-to videos. Um, we're also doing story time a few mornings a week as well as some yoga, some genealogy chats, and just lots of really cool things on our Facebook Live. So be sure to check all of those out right here on our Facebook page. If you can't ever make it live, it's no big deal because they're all archived as videos on the page. You just scroll down to find what you need. Today in our how-to, we are going to be using some of those toilet paper rolls that we probably all have a bunch of because, you know, everyone panicked and went out and bought some if you were lucky enough to get some. And we're also going to be doing some DIY shaker eggs, especially for those of you with littles at home um, that maybe come to story times here in the branch. You know they're super fun. Kids love them. So to get started today, here's a couple of examples of little animals. I made animals things you can use those empty toilet paper rolls for. So you can really make whatever you want. Um, I made a rabbit here because it's almost Easter. I also decided to make a little pig um, just because it was cute and fun. Um, I have another animal I'm gonna show you how to make today, um, but you can really make whatever you want. Make an alien, make a unicorn, just make you know, the sun, make really whatever, get creative. It doesn't have to look like the actual animal. I colored my pig pink. Maybe you want yours to be a rainbow tie-dye pig. Do whatever you want. This is just all about having fun, trying to find some creativity in this time where we're all sort of trapped at home. Um, those of you that maybe haven't seen my videos before, I'm trying really hard to try and use supplies that we will all already have in our homes, that we have on hand. We don't have to go out to buy them. We don't have to spend extra money that um, you know to purchase something that we don't already have on hand. So what I'm gonna show you how to make today is a cow. So I have my empty toilet paper tube here and then I took a piece of white paper and I just measured it to see, I pre-measured it, that way it wouldn't take, you know, 20 minutes to show you how to do all of it. I pre-measured it, cut it out, rolled it around, then there was a little bit of extra, so I cut it off. Once I just had my blank paper, I then decided to go ahead and color my cow because I thought it would be a little bit easier. If you want to go ahead and put it on your tube and then try and color it, you absolutely can. Or if you want to know how big a face or something should be, just hold it up there. So I drew on some spots, drew a little face. I did, you know, if you mess up, you can flip it over if you want to or cut out another piece of paper. Um, if you don't have white paper at home, maybe use the bottom of some junk mail. Um, you could use school lined paper if you have lined paper at home. Um, you could use, you know, wrapping paper, tissue paper, anything that you want, especially if you want it to be a color. If you use some bright colorful tissue paper, that would totally work too. So now once you get it all colored, you can use a glue stick or just tape or you know regular glue um, I prefer tape just because I think it's a little bit easier a little bit less messy just tape it right on there one side wrap it around try and get it nice and even um, but you know however it looks is totally fine too and then I taped mine right up here at the top and then again at the bottom that way we don't have any little corners that can kind of get frayed again right down there on that side so now we have our cow but cows usually have ears and stuff so I didn't pre-make ears how I like to cut out ears is to take this is just scrap paper from the white paper I already cut for this trying to use everything that we can I like to fold paper in half and then draw and or just freehand cut that way the ears are even so these are probably not gonna look super great because I'm just gonna freehand cut some what I think kind of look like cow ears it may not be perfect, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be. If you want it to be, try again, practice drawing it. If you have paper folded in half, I happen to cut along the fold, um, just because that's where I cut it today. If you do that, just cut it along the fold, and then you've got some ears. And then you take your ears, and you can use a glue stick, you can use tape once again, whatever you want. I use smaller pieces of tape on my examples, but just for the sake of time, you can cut it or just sort of pull it apart. But there I've stuck it on there. Sometimes cows have their ears kind of flipped over. So then you can kind of bend it a little bit there. That way it's a little bit more fun. If I wasn't doing this as a video today, a live video that we want to keep a little bit shorter because we don't all have, you know, 30 to 40 minutes to watch me do this all at once. I would have probably colored it in a little bit, maybe with some pink or added a couple of spots. Or like I said, if you want to make it funky, I could have like tie-dye rainbowed it. So we're just going to have one of his ears down right now. 
So there's my little cow with his ears. But cows also have tails, right? So I did pre-color a tail. I just cut a long strip of paper. This is also how I made the pigtail. For this, I'm just gonna, I colored it already. I'm gonna snip it off about right there. So now I've got a tail about the size of my cow, which seems pretty big, especially for proportions. But we wanna put it in the back because tails are in the back and you wanna be able to see it. And you'd rather have more than less because you can always cut some off if you need to. I'm gonna take my tape again. For my cow tail too, I made it, I cut the ends of it. It's kinda hard to see right there. Cut the ends of it though that way. It kinda looks like it's, it's a little, little fur, it's a little hair kind of sticking up. Tape it on the back and voila, there we have a cow. For those of you just tuning in, I also showed examples earlier. I made a rabbit as well. I left mine white, but rabbits are all different colors. They're brown, they're black, they're spotted. Or like I said, go crazy, make it hot pink, who cares? And then here's a little pig example that I made as well. Now to get the tail of the pig nice and curly. The trick that I use, Miss Jill left her paper over here, let me grab it. I colored mine in first. Then I had my whole big long strip because I'd rather have too much than not enough to work with. If you've never done this for the way to curl paper super easily, take a pencil, a pen. I have a lime green colored pencil here so you can see how I do it. You can roll it all in one little ball or you can kind of loop it around here like I'm doing to where it's sort of, it's not all piled up on top of each other. It's more like like a curl, like a banana curl in your hair or something. Hold it on there, make sure it's kind of nice and tight. You don't need to keep it on there for much longer because look, I pulled the pencil out and it's already like that. You can kind of pull it apart a little bit. If you'd had it colored in, you could leave it like this. If you don't like how long it is, you know, just snip some off for whatever length you want on your animal. So it's a super easy way to curl paper. You could maybe make curly hair for one of your animals or one of your creatures. Um, like I said, you could make unicorns, you could make aliens, you could make just like a tree or something. Whatever you want, make a, just a creature, a monster. Get as fun as you want, especially like today the weather is super nice. I hope lots of you have been outside enjoying the weather or plan to go out later today. But we're supposed to kind of have some not as good weather like later on in the week, so maybe this would be a good activity to do. Oh, thanks Lauren. She likes my shirt. If you don't know Elephant and Piggy or the Pigeon, be sure to check them out. You can check out our books online through our website and we have ebooks through Libby as well as Hoopla, some other resources and things like that. So you should go to our website for that. Also, like I said, we're also gonna make some shaker eggs today. I figure Easter's coming up. Some of us might have some of those plastic, plastic Easter eggs in our homes already. So it's really easy to make your own, super easy. You just need the plastic Easter eggs. That's all that you need. I happened to find these in the dollar section at Target when I was there buying some other necessary groceries that I needed. So I just went ahead and picked these up. Obviously don't go out if you don't have to. Lots of places might be sold out of these because Easter is coming up, but it's super simple. So for this one, a lot of times at the library, if we make these, we'll put um, dry beans or something in there. I didn't have any of those. I didn't want to buy some and use them just for this. I don't want to waste food if we don't have to. I didn't want to buy an item that I don't need. So you can put anything that's gonna make a sound in here. Now, a lot of the eggs, as you guys might know, have little holes in them on the top and the bottom. So I wouldn't advise using rice if it has the holes because it's gonna fall out. Anything bigger than the hole though, use it. So I have inside this one, it's literally just, I thought I had more paper clips at home. I had one paper clip and one very small binder clip. And you know, when they rattle together, they're gonna make noise, just like I just showed you. So it's not great, it's not perfect, but you know, if you have cereal at home, you could put M&Ms in there. You might have more paper clips, um, maybe game pieces. I also tried out, I have um, banana grams. I mean, if you don't have banana grams or have Scrabble pieces, you can put some of those in there, put it in. That's a little bit louder. You can shake it up, especially if any of you are attending any of Miss Amy's story times in the mornings. Um, she's doing lots of songs and music and it's super fun. And maybe your kiddo wants to get up and dance. Make a shaker egg for them to use during some of the songs. It'll be super fun. If you're worried about it maybe falling apart, um, you can put tape around it. At the library, a lot of times when you make these, we'll use washi tape or colored masking tape. Um, so it just makes it a little bit, more, little bit more bright and colorful. But you could use scotch tape or duct tape or really anything you have. If you really 
want to just keep whatever's inside there in, you could super glue it together, then your little won't be able to pull it apart, especially if it maybe is paper clips or something small that could be a choking hazard for them. All right, friends. So that is what I have to show you today. Shaker eggs, get in the dancing spirits, and toilet paper tube creations. I made a variety of barnyard animals today, but I hope if you make any of these at home, maybe post pictures. You can post them here on our website. You can send them to us through messages on here, through our messages on Instagram. Um, you could email us. You can contact us through our website, um, kittenlibrary.org. I would love to see the things that you and your kiddos make at home. You guys are always way more creative than I am. I'm always blown away by it. And to beat away those boredom blues, be sure to check out our website for other things. You can check out lots of eBooks, eMusic, movies. We have lots of different apps and resources that you can use. And if you don't know how to use any of those, we have online chat reference. You can contact us here through our social media and we can get you all set up that way. And I'll be back again next week, every Wednesday at four o'clock. I'll be going live to show you how to make a variety of things. Next week, we'll be doing some really fun things with chalk. So I can't wait to see you then. Bye everyone, stay safe and healthy.